I'm going to talk you through how to explore the icon modules that Ideal has created for rhetoric constructors and also how to import them into your own icon classes. Um, so you're going to need to start by making sure that you have access to the rhetoric refresh uh, site. This gives you access to all sorts of lesson plans, syllabus templates, and other cool things that the Ideal has created to help rhetoric constructors as they design their courses. To find Rhetoric Refresh, you're going to go to this tab that has all the semesters that you've taught, and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're going to click Ongoing. There you should see Rhetoric Refresh. If you don't see Rhetoric Refresh, it's because you haven't been added to the site, and please email ideal at ideal at uiowa.edu uh, in order to get access to the site, and we can add you within a matter of minutes. So if you have access, go ahead and click that site. And you'll be taken to this welcome page that so just sort of shows tells you what we're about and who we are but you'll see here that we have the syllabus templates that'll be up to date year to year semester to semester uh, we have lesson plans that you can use in the classroom that are designed according to the stages of the rhetoric syllabus whether that's analysis synthesis mapping or advocacy we have information about the rhetoric centers but here you'll see this button for icon modules we're going to click on that and this will take you to an overview of all three modules that Ideal has created. Now, to give you some quick background, these modules are designed to be used in an online or blended learning format. So what that means is that these are modules that your students can complete step by step on their own at home. This way you can use them either as homework or as part of an online course. Um, you could even have students do them in the classroom if you wanted to get really creative about it but they're designed to sort of walk students through different activities and writing exercises and analysis exercises um, to supplement whatever you're doing in class or to be part of a bigger online course, yeah? So we have three of them. The first one focuses on speaking skills. This is about helping students go from uh, topic development to drafting a speech outline and speaking notes to workshopping it with another of their peers. Um, and making sure to keep that workshopping experience feeling intimate, even though it's mediated by technology, obviously. The second module is pre-writing and proposals. This helps students develop topics that for projects that they're actually interested in um, and teach them how to write a proposal about that topic. Um, so this module is good. You can use it either all at once for one of the major assignments or you can use different parts of it for different major assignments as you choose. It's kind of flexible in that way. The final module is digital literacies and content production. So this has one lesson on blogging and web page editing, one on digital and audio recording and editing, and one on video recording and editing. So this is really great if you're doing a multimodal project in your class, like a video essay or a podcast, you can slot in the lesson that is most helpful to you to get your students comfortable with the medium. So those are the three modules that are available to you. By clicking on any one of these modules, you'll be taken to the module itself, where you can explore sort of the overview, both for instructors and students, and then each of the lessons and activities that goes into it. So that is what these modules are and what you can use them for in a sort of basic outline sort of way. But to show you how to import them, you're going to go to the class icon page that you want to use these modules in, right? So I'm going to go, for me, I'm going to go back to fall 2020. And go to my rhetoric writing and reading page you can see that this is a completely blank icon site right you don't have to do it this early um, but for the purposes of demonstration I wanted to show you what it looks like when you have a brand new clean slate icon site so you're gonna go down here to settings you're going to pick import course content and then you'll do copy a canvas course and as long as you have access to that Rhetoric Refresh site, Rhetoric Refresh should pop up in the very bottom here. So click that. And you want to do select specific content. You don't want all of it. You can click adjust events and due dates, which allows you to sort of decide upfront when different activities and things are going to be due. I actually find that more difficult than actually just importing it and then changing the things after I've already imported it. But I leave that up to you and sort of how you work best. I tend to avoid checking it and just deal with it after. So 
I'm going to click import and I'm going to select content. Go here to modules and I really want to use the pre-writing and proposals module. That's the one I want to use, but I'm also going to click getting started. This getting started module is mostly geared towards instructors, but it also has this one little bit that is sort of tech requirements, right? That for some of these modules, the students are going to need Adobe Flash player, for example. Um, so it can be a useful thing to just go ahead and import so you have it and you can always unpublish it if it isn't working for you or if you think that you don't need it. All right, so I'm going to select content. And now we wait. Okay, so that has finished importing. So now I'm gonna go over here to modules, and there it is, right? Um, so the the modules are set up in a way where it's going to sort of naturally unpublish the things that we're guessing you don't want to be published, right? Like the about ideal start here, which is geared toward instructors. The about the module for instructors page, right? But say that I just want my students to focus on this part, right? This first lesson that walks them from reading their assignment sheet to trying to find an intersection between the assignment and what they're interested in and then move it, creating that into a topic question, right? So I really just want them to focus on this part first and I'm gonna use the other ones later in the, in the class. So I'm actually gonna unpublish these parts just so that my students are really clear on what they need to do at this point in the course, yeah? And then if you click through this, you'll notice that students get an overview, the various things they're gonna do at each point. They click through with these next and previous buttons at the bottom. And then they'll get these various activities, right? But the due dates for this and the grading schema, right? is probably not what you need. So at this point, I'm gonna go into assignments, right? And I can now see the assignments that have been imported through this module, right? So I can now go in and I can either drag these assignments into different groups according to how I'm grading them. I can go in and edit. You know, I want this to be points. I want it to be out of 10. Um, I do want it to be online. File upload. That's going to be true for most of these where this the submission type you're going to want to leave be. Um, it's not a group assignment. I don't need peer reviews or anonymous grading, but I am going to change the due date. We're going to have it due the first, the second Thursday of classes. So right here. All right, and then I'm going to hit save. And so you go through and you make those adjustments to the assignments as you need to, right, in order for them to fit into your syllabus. And then what's great is that once you've done it for one course, right, say you're teaching three sections of 1030, now you can import the module from this course, right, instead of going back and importing it from the rhetoric refresh site, and it'll keep all of those settings that you adjusted, right, so you only have to do it one time, which is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that is how you import and these modules and sort of what they're about. And obviously, if you have any questions about making use of these modules, either in an online class or a blended or face-to-face -face class, then just feel free to reach out with Ideal and we'll happily sit down with you and talk through how these can be part of your pedagogy. Thanks.